Well, the Athens community is rallying around a family after their three year old son was tragically killed when bullets ripped through their home last night. 11 Alive's Erica Murphy has exclusive details on what the community is doing and plans to help the family. Oh my God, my baby. On Friday, two young children ages three and nine were sitting together watching a movie inside their house on Spring Valley Road when bullets tore through that home, striking three year old Chiron Zarco and his brother. Zarco died from his injuries and his older brother is now recovering. It's been so many things going on just this year alone in this one neighborhood. Why is there only one camera at the front reading only tag? Chiron's mom, Shanita Smith, says the toddler woke up that morning with a fever, so she stayed home to take care of him. She also says they cuddled all day and watched movies. She later left to pick up one of her other kids from soccer practice, and just before she left, she says her baby boy asked her to bring back one of his favorite treats. Oh, God. I still got his gummy bears and dinner in my car. <gasps> Shane Blackwell owns and operates Mac and Payne Funeral Home and is a community activist. He says he sees a lot of violence and it's hard for everyone when something like this happens. It hurts, especially when it's on my side of town. And uh, I don't care if it's a stray bullet or whatever. No bullets don't have anybody's name on it. They're just going ricocheting off or whatever. So um, it hurts dearly to my heart that uh, we lost another um, child to gunfire. It was during Eleven Alive's exclusive interview with Blackwell that he was so moved by Chiron's death that he offered to pay for the funeral. Police say they've arrested one person in connection to this fatal shooting. The family says they believe there are at least three people involved and they're all minors. But now these kids have taken over and mm -hmm. nobody wants to fight no more and everybody wants to shoot. This family's heartache was compounded today when a large tree fell onto their house. Crews were on the scene removing the tree, but what they can't remove is the unimaginable pain that Chiron's death has brought. Reporting from Athens, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News. And just into our newsroom, within the last hour, police say one person has been arrested and two more are wanted. You're looking at 17-year-old Julian Cabellos of Lawrenceville. He's in custody tonight. He's facing felony murder, malice murder, aggravated assault charges, and more. Right now, police are offering a $2,000 reward for information leading to the other arrests. Now, the details on those suspects have not been released, but we'll bring you more updates as we get them.